Now, tonight we're learning new details about that couple who went on a violent shooting spree in Las Vegas, killing two police officers and a Walmart shopper. Mm. Our Candace Gibson is in the Satellite Center now with what police believe was the motive behind this terrible attack. Candace? Leon and Allison, police in Vegas held a detailed briefing this afternoon about the shooting. The couple, they say, viewed law enforcement as oppressors. And remember the name Clive and Bundy. The anti-government protester who also made news for racist comments this spring. Well, the couple spent time at his ranch in Nevada, but were then asked to leave. Police described chaotic scenes as a young couple identified today as Jared and Amanda Miller went on a shooting rampage. It all started here at CeCe's Pizza, about five miles north of the Vegas Strip, where Las Vegas police officers Alan Beck and Igor Soldo were having lunch. They were shot at point-blank range. The suspects pulled the officers out of the booth and onto the ground where they placed a, um, a Gazden flag, which is a don't tread on me yellow flag on the body of Officer Beck. Uh, they also threw a swastika on top of, of his body. Law enforcement say the couple had militia white supremacist type ideologies and were prepared for a Columbine style attack. He just told me to tell the, the cops that it was a revolution and he had just killed two cops in CCs. The couple wasn't done there. They walked across the street to a Walmart where Jared Miller fired a single shot into the air. A Vegas resident carrying a concealed weapon set out to stop the shooter. As soon as he began to confront Jared Miller with his firearm, Amanda Miller removed her firearm and shot him one time in the ribs area and where he immediately collapsed. Joseph Wilcox would later die. The couple made their way through the store, at times exchanging gunshots with police officers. Finally trapped in one portion of the store, Amanda Miller shot and killed her husband before turning the gun on herself. And this evening, police continue to review surveillance footage that captured the scene inside the pizza place and the Walmart. And in one of the couple's backpack, they say hundreds of rounds of ammunition were found. Proof they were prepared for a long gun battle. Reporting from the Satellite Center, Candace Gibson, ABC 7 News. Hell.